Have you ever had concerns about privacy when working with AI coding assistants? Worries about your code being used for training or shared without your consent? Well, you're not alone. But don't worry, I found the best solution to this. Allow me to introduce CodeGate, an open source local gateway designed to make AI coding assistants safer than ever. CodeGate ensures that AI generated recommendations follow best practices, which is going to safeguard your code's integrity. And most importantly, it's going to protect your individual privacy. It works as a focused local proxy, adding a central layer of security to the developer's generative AI workflow. By leveraging everything local and private, CodeGate is something that will empower you as a developer to harness the full potential of AI without compromising your peace of mind. You may be wondering, how does it actually function? Well, it processes prompts locally, which filters sensitive data and optimizes them before sending requests. So the AI model's responses are validated and refined by CodeGate. So it ensures privacy, security, and adherence to best practices, all while keeping your workflow efficient and protected. And essentially, the reason why I believe this is the best coding agentic workflow is because with CodeGate, you can have it connected to your IDE within Visual Studio Code, where you can access GitHub Copilot as well as continue within Visual Studio Code and JetBrains IDE. It also is capable of supporting the following AI providers, where you can use Olama for local models as well as Llama CPP. You can have it integrated with Vision Large Language Models, uh, you also have Anthropic API and OpenAI's API. And the best part is, you just need to simply run a simple Docker command where you can quickly get started. Where this command sets up CodeGate as a local gateway on your local computer, encrypting sensitive data in prompts as well as enhancing large language models with real-time risk insights, all while keeping everything private and secure on your machine. Take a look at this live demo of CodeGate in action. This is within VS Code and this is with GitHub Copilot in live action where it is capable of even removing suspicious and malicious packages. In this case, it reviewed over your code and it was capable of detecting that malicious package and removing it and also making the inline edit to protect and also have it so that the code is functional. This is the capability of CodeGate which is why I see this combined with GitHub Copilot as well as with something like Continue can make it the ideal workflow. Let's get started and showcase how you can set up this ideal coding workflow. What you'll need to do is have an IDE. In this case, I recommend using Visual Studio Code. Make sure you install this for your operating system. Make sure you also have Docker installed. Once you have these two prerequisites fulfilled, we can then go ahead and install continue within VS Code, which is something that I'll show in a bit. And lastly, what we'll need to do is head over to CodeGate's website so that we can copy this Docker run command. Now, once you have fulfilled all the prerequisites, go ahead and open up Docker Desktop. You can simply have this running in the background. And once that is running, you can then go ahead and open up your command prompt. Now. What you can simply do is go over to CodeGate's website, copy this, and then you can go ahead into your command prompt and paste this in and click enter. This will start pulling this package of CodeGate and it's going to start running locally on your computer. But there's one thing that you will need to keep in mind, and that is what the prerequisites are to have this running. Now, if you're going to be having this used with continue, they said that it will run for all of your operating systems whether that's windows mac os or even linux systems but they recommend a system with at least 16 gigabytes of ram a gpu as well as at least 12 gigabytes of free disk space for best results when you're running with olama locally so just keep that in mind and it looks like our docker container has been pulled and we can actually take a look at this within docker desktop so if you go ahead and open this up and if you go over to images, you will see that it is running with the green dot and it is currently in use. So right now we have this operational and what we can do now is head over to VS Code and set this up. If you open VS Code up, what we're going to do now is set up our workflow. Once VS Code has been opened up, go over to the extension tab and search up continue dev. And this is something that I'll explain in a second, but go ahead and search this up and you can go ahead to this extension and click on install for the people who do not know 
Continue Dev is an open source AI coding assistant that integrates within VS Code and it's something that enables custom autocomplete, you have chat experiences, you have the ability for inline edit as well as code suggestions. You also have the ability to autocomplete code where you can request it to generate something with a text prompt and this is something that has been really helpful for a lot of developers which is why we're adding it to our AI coding workflow. And just another reminder, this will also work with GitHub Copilot. So you can also use this coding assistant as well. But in this case, we're going to be using Continue. And now what I'm going to be doing is installing a CodeGen model to help me. And this is a local model that I'm going to install through Olama. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I've actually already installed this by pasting this command into my command prompt. So I've installed this new model. And now I just need to simply configure this into continue. This is by simply going ahead and copying this code snippet over here, which will copy this whole snippet. So you can then go back into VS Code. And what you can do is you can go ahead and click on the settings tab and then simply go ahead and paste and then go over to file and click save. And you should see this code stroll quick start model right over here. Or sorry, this code gate quick start model. And you can start chatting with it right now. To showcase what you can do with CodeGate, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this demo folder, which is where I'm going to have it so that it can analyze a couple of these files. There's actually a couple of malicious packages. So we're going to have continue as well as CodeGate help us understand what is happening and how we can fix it. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and provide the context by adding uh, the file and then we're going to have it explain this file. So we can go ahead and click enter while we're running Docker and we should have it so that it will understand and have it output a couple of different issues that might be seen. So in this case, we can see right away, CodeGate was able to prevent three secrets from being leaked. And this is by redacting them. So in this case, it was able to intercept the request and it was able to transparently encrypt the sensitive data before it leaves your machine. So this is the capability that you get. And well, if you are to actually click on this, you can take a look at the dashboard of CodeGate, which is going to be running on your local host with Docker. And you can actually take a look at this by clicking on this link and it will actually showcase the security issues that I was capable of detecting. So in this case, the secrets over here that I was able to protect with API keys and it will also be able to showcase malicious packages if there are any. And to do that, what I can do to showcase the feature of uh, CodeGate is tag this package Python file and I'm going to have it analyze this and we're going to be able to see that it is capable of even detecting one or more malicious packages and we can see right away that it was able to detect the following malicious packages. You can see that there are actually two and in this case it was able to showcase the awareness of these different packages that it was able to find. And if you are to go back to the dashboard, you'll see that it will detect the malicious packages by type. And if you toggle this malicious package button, it will showcase the packages that I was capable of finding and detecting. And the best part with continue is that you have autocomplete and you also have the ability to use other providers where you can use various sorts of providers from OpenAI all the way to Anthropic. And you're going to be able to have it so that these different providers can help you generate anything. If you want to generate a front end app, you can definitely do so with continue within VS Code and have it fully protected with CodeGate. Just to give you an example, I'm going to go ahead and have it build out a front end design for an e-commerce store. I told it to make it look modern and have it generate the code. So in this case, we're going to have it generate the HTML code and you can see right away continue is going to help me generate this and it's also going to help me generate the styling and just look at that. I had to prompt a bit more with Claude 3.5 Sonnet to get this generation of an e-commerce store, but we have a fully functional e-com store that has a couple of different brands, all by having Claude 3.5 generate the contents within Continue. And this is the capability that you get with this beautiful extension. And this is where you can have it do a lot more than just generate applications. It can help you debug, it can help you with small suggestions, and so much more. But in summary, this is the ideal coding agentic workflow that you can use where you can have CodeGate, which is a game-changing open source solution for anyone who wants to protect and encrypt your own data locally. 
This is where you can encrypt sensitive data and it can prevent accidental leaks as well as safeguarding against risky AI generated code. It is a great solution that you should take a look at as it's completely for free and you should also have it uh, coupled with something like Continue which is a leading open source AI coding assistant that can enhance developer productivity with its autocomplete features and so much more. But that's basically it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value. Definitely give them a follow on their GitHub repository. Make sure you start their repository if you haven't already. This is a great tool that can help you in various ways. But with that thought guys, make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news that's being sent to you on a regular basis. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and take a look at our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever's happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.